When a narcissist finds out you've closed your heart forever, here's what's on their mind. Everyone, welcome to another episode. Discover if you've closed your heart for good. Here's the deal. Come with me as we dig into the confusing world of how narcissists see themselves as helpless. Your voice might feel like it doesn't matter, but why do they act like this? It's because they want to control everything, using power like a scary weapon to dominate others and be the boss. Don't worry, even in the dark times, there's hope. Today, we'll reveal 10 scary situations that can even make the most fearless narcissists scared. These are the moments that shake the very core of their ego-driven lives. Come along on this exciting journey, because the insights you're about to get will help you protect yourself from their tricky games. This is an opportunity you can't ignore. No more waiting. Let's check out 10 situations that can make even a narcissist tremble in fear. Number 1. Defying their authority. Ever found yourself ensnared in a narcissist's power play? Reject their manipulative dance, assert your independence, and wield your power with paramount importance. As you ponder their motives and embrace autonomy, the narcissist's world trembles with uncertainty. Failure to provoke the desired reaction may escalate aggression. Narcissists prioritize themselves, adeptly twisting situations to meet their needs. Stay vigilant, resist their grip, stand tall, and embrace independence. Number 2. Stop giving narcissists the adoration that they want. Craving genuine love over the distorted version served by a narcissist. Denying praise triggers seismic meltdowns in their crafted world. Without the constant adulation, they may resort to emotional abuse. Recognize, you can't control their self-esteem, you manage interactions. Strategically withholding praise minimizes trauma. You owe no one your love, time, or energy. Prioritize well-being, establish boundaries, safeguard self-care. Number 3. Embracing serenity amid chaos. Maintaining composure is crucial. Narcissists thrive on chaos, deliberately provoking to incite conflict. Reclaim control by managing emotional response. Their arsenal includes lies, manipulation, and exploitation. Rejecting their attempts renders efforts fruitless, diminishing interest. Resist the urge to engage in manipulative games. You owe no interaction to those not enriching your life. A poised demeanor sends a powerful message. Disruptive antics don't influence emotions. Establish strong boundaries, refuse negativity, and inspire introspection. Number 4. Boldly dismantle narcissist deceptions. Ever entangled in the intricately woven facade of a narcissist, manipulation falters when personas face scrutiny. Challenges evoke anger, aggression, or fear. Discern negative traits, expose authentic character, confront detrimental actions, and delineate boundaries for well-being. Number 5. Escaping the Theatrix. Life often ensnares us in others' theatrix, but for a narcissist, drama is their lifeline. With devious skill, they spin chaotic narratives wreaking havoc on emotional well-being. Beneath confidence lies profound insecurity and codependency. Drama is their avenue for attention and validation. Establish unweaving boundaries, refuse twisted games, send a resounding message. You won't be a pawn in their theatrical production. Emancipating presence challenges, complete disengagement is essential for long-term peace. Firmly reject efforts to involve you. Redirect focus toward what genuinely matters. Number 6. Exposing the illusion. Confronting elusive reality behind narcissistic falsehoods. Confronting someone about lies is one thing. Imagine a narcissist, masters of distorting truth. Deceptive prowess extends beyond emotions, every tactic to suit their agenda. Unveiling manipulative, self-centered behavior invokes defense mechanisms. Vulnerability is avoided to uphold the illusion of grandeur. Number 7. Stripping the narcissist of their mask in the spotlight. It's the fear of public exposure and shame. Inflated superiority relies on maintaining an impeccable image. Threatened, their ego crumbles as they defend their fixate. A narcissist laid bare reveals a vulnerable figure under the weight of deceit. Confronting inappropriate behavior might be uncomfortable, but exposes true colors. Number 8. Taking back command. Defying the narcissistic obsession with control. Now, imagine a narcissist consumed by an obsession with control. 
Their demands drain energy and erode self-worth. Reclaiming control is crucial. Make it clear manipulative behavior won't be tolerated. Establish boundaries, assert authority, refuse to feel inferior. Your needs are valid. Take control, make choices based on your desires. Your life holds immeasurable worth. Number 9. The Craft of Constructive Critique Unraveling the Narcissist with Thoughtful Words Criticizing a narcissist, especially about appearance, deals a blow to their ego. Deep-rooted insecurity makes comments a sensitive trigger, potentially diminishing self-esteem and exposing a fragile facade. If feedback is necessary, approach with caution. Choose words wisely, avoiding a judgmental tone. For instance, that outfit may not align with your usual aesthetic, or are you feeling well? You appear fatigued. Feeling daunted is natural, but don't let their self-centered nature cloud judgment. Beneath Pervado lies vulnerability. Expressing emotions initiates healing, encourages growth as the narcissist's facade crumbles. Shedding light on their authentic character empowers you, despite attempts at control. Number 10. Unveil the illusion of a narcissist's victimhood. Witnessing a loved one navigate challenges is tough. Now, imagine dealing with a narcissist, masters of manipulation adopting the victim's guise. Recognize you're not responsible for their emotional well-being. Faced with negative feedback, they seek approval while evading acknowledgement of imperfections. Sacrificing emotional safety is not a prerequisite. No obligation to fix someone unwilling to mend themselves. So, ever felt like you're dealing with a tricky situation and need some guidance? Understanding how narcissists operate is key in handling these tough situations. They usually avoid making the final decision to end things, preferring the supply, that's you, to make that call. It's all about control for them. Giving up control contradicts their core nature. Their game plan is to hold power over those they've manipulated and controlled. But here's the kicker. Narcissists often try to build what they call a narcissistic harem. It's like having a group of people always ready to support them. Why? Because deep down, they're dependent on others to boost their ego. That's why the chances of a narcissist actually making the ultimate move to abandon someone are super low. Navigating the intricate web of human relationships, especially when dealing with a narcissist, unveils a complex tapestry of emotions and actions. The tumult reaches its zenith when the narcissist realizes unequivocally that you've executed the final discard, severing the ties without any intention of returning. It's a stark reality, one where they lose control and their primary source of supply vanishes, propelling them into an unfamiliar realm of disorder. In the aftermath of such a decisive act, disorderliness takes center stage in the narcissist's world. The profound sense of loss and rejection they experience exceeds their emotional capacity. Unable to manage this turmoil, they embark on a chaotic journey marked by futile attempts to regain dominance through manipulation, explosive anger outbursts, or a facade of apathy masking their inner distress. Understanding these dynamics becomes paramount for those who have executed the final discard. It equips them with the tools to navigate the turbulent aftermath effectively. Subsequent sections will delve into the intricate behaviors exhibited by narcissists in response to such situations. In the face of the ultimate decision to discard, safeguarding one's well-being becomes crucial. Methods for protecting oneself during this challenging period will be explored. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video with anyone navigating similar challenges. Together, we can emerge stronger from the complexities of dealing with narcissists. Narcissists, with their deficient discernment and anticipation, fail to grasp the toll their mistreatment takes on your well-being. Oblivious to the possibility that you may wake up to the repetitive mistreatment and decide to break free, their persuasion tactics hinge on convincing you of your vitality. However, the abrupt realization that connections have been severed can trigger a reaction bordering on psychosis, manifesting in a spectrum of behaviors. Initiating a final discard is akin to metaphorically submerging an individual with scuba gear. Just as a kinked cord poses challenges for a scuba diver, the narcissist faces the imperative task of untangling the mess you've created. Your decisive action puts their authority or figurative oxygen supply at risk, 
akin to severe cord kinking or interrupting the oxygen supply. While I fervently hope no one subjects another to such a situation, the analogy underscores the narcissist's vital supply, essential for their daily navigation. Akin to oxygen, their existence hinges on actively pursuing it each day. Upon reaching the culmination of the final discard, these individuals find themselves deeply immersed in a profound obsession, ultimately surrendering control. The power, contrary to popular belief, does not reside with the narcissist, but rather with you, the one possessing the wisdom to heal. In stark contrast to the narcissist, you have the ability to listen to God and seek his counsel, a power that remains elusive to narcissists, an exceptional breed marked by their persistent insanity and lack of intelligence, as they remain trapped in the clutches of their disorder. When you make your intention to withdraw known, narcissists embark on relentless attempts to seduce you. They act as if your refusal to grant them permission constitutes a grave offense. Exercise caution, especially when dealing with a volatile narcissist, upon reaching the irreversible point of departure. Recognize your adversary, understand the narcissist's temperament, and take necessary precautions. Obsession becomes the narcissist's instinctive reaction, initially fueled by their desire for you. Despite their apparent indifference when they feign disinterest, it is a mere facade to protect their ego. The narcissist fears that revealing vulnerability would acknowledge the impact of your words on them. Despite their pretense of indifference, when you declare your departure with the explicit intent of never returning, the narcissist is profoundly affected. They keenly feel the void left when all connections are severed, concluding the narrative with a resounding, the end. Expect a surge in electronic mail, text messages, and phone inquiries. They may even show up at your family's doorstep attempting to reach out to anyone associated with you. In the comment section, some users might share their personal encounters with these individuals and their erratic behavior. When children are involved, navigating a relationship with a narcissist demands heightened awareness of the potential for exploitation and manipulation. Parental alienation, a pernicious strategy recognized by many, takes a darker turn when the narcissist's authority is challenged. Suppressing their dominance with an ending can escalate their efforts to isolate your children from your presence. Fueled by an extreme need for control, this strategic maneuver may lead to severe repercussions, pushing the individual to the brink of institutionalization or a psychological breakdown if their carefully constructed support network crumbles. In the face of your opposition, akin to a chess game with lives at stake, the narcissist calculates each move meticulously to satiate their insatiable ego. However, when you firmly and unequivocally say no more, severing all connections, they are confronted with the harsh reality of their overwhelming loss. This ultimate rejection not only compromises their carefully crafted facade of invincibility, but also inflates their ego with an overpowering sense of shame, an emotion they earnestly strive to evade. They discover themselves facing a challenge, ill-prepared to tackle the vulnerability unfolding before them. To grapple with this pivotal juncture, one must prioritize self-protection. Broadcasting this crucial insight to those grappling with similar circumstances amplifies the collective effort to break free from the pitfalls of narcissistic manipulation. Regaining your autonomy by definitively severing ties with the narcissist leaves them perplexed and poorly equipped to handle the sudden upheaval. Keep a vigilant eye on your own well-being and seek support from those who understand the intricate dynamics at play in this process. Acknowledge that you're not on this precarious journey alone. Your inner strength resonates with others who've navigated similar paths through shared experiences. Overcoming challenges while standing united emerges as a potent strategy. May you all find completeness and healing as you navigate the choppy waters of cutting ties with a narcissist. May tranquility be your constant companion until our paths cross again.